What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, my name is Melissa and this is Busy Living For Me. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm bringing you along as like the perfect day, like for me being home, not on vacation or anywhere, but kind of like a mom's day out in a way without kids, without my husband. I used to do these at least once a month because I've worked for myself for the past two years and I am actually, I was offered an opportunity at a tech company that I could not pass up. And so I'm going to be starting back into like the nine to five era in on Monday. And so by the time you're watching this, I might have already been started in this company, but I wanted to bring you along and show you what a perfect day to me looks like. Now it might change a little bit as the day goes on, but the gist of it is the first thing that I do is I go to like one of my favorite breakfast spots. I only have a couple and I have my favorite breakfast. And so we'll see where the rest of the day takes us, but that sounds pretty perfect to me. I did bring a book with me penelope douglas birthday girl just in case i find a really cute spot and the weather isn't too terrible outside i live in texas and it's god awful hot here so hopefully i can find a spot where i can read in the sun or the shade or outside for a little bit because that would just be absolutely perfect let's go ahead and let's get on the road and let's not waste any more time <music> just finished my oh my breakfast that was so good i am stuffed i got like the blt eggs benedict it's the first time i ever had like eggs benedict eggs before in my life it was really good only thing i would critique a little bit is that they put some type of like lemon sauce on there and i'm just not somebody who enjoys like lemon flavors like that unless it's on something that's supposed to be lemon like lemonade lemon bars like all of that shit had that not been on there it would have been a five out of five but that lemon it that lemon did dock it down to like a solid 3.5 out of five because it took away a lot of the taste from like the bacon and the avocado that was on there which were like big pieces that I wanted to go with my egg but I took some time and I was reading birthday girl I brought it with me today anytime that I have to wait somewhere or have to do something I would rather be reading my book than being in my phone I just noticed that my mood is better especially when I have a day away from working or doing any type of responsibilities and stuff like that so I have to head to the ATM across the parking lot here pick up some cash and then we're gonna go get my rising desk <laughs> We got a change of plans. I have never been to a half price bookstore before called, well, I'm meaning the bookstore that's called Half Price Books. I've always been a Barnes and Nobles girly and on the side of town that I'm in right now, where I'm about, I was about to go across the street to the Goodwill because that is the thrift store I was gonna go to. I saw that across the street where I am right now, they have a half price book. So I'm like, they literally open in five minutes. I might as well just like go in there and have a look see and see if these books are really half price or if it's just like, you know, a gimmick because I really have no idea.
Okay, so I finished my time at the Half Price Bookstore. I'm gonna be honest, I spent way more time in there than I thought I was going to. I'm across the street at the Goodwill now. I will show you that haul at the end of this video, but let's go ahead and go into Goodwill. I wanted to be here when it opened, but you know, things change, plans change, but now all the early birds are here, so let's just hope I can find something good. in here because I am dying holy shit I was gonna get more footage inside the thrift store but I quickly realized this thrift store is elite there's a bunch of shit in here this is a nice thrift store I've never been to this one and this is why you always want to go to thrift stores that are on the nicest parts of your town I couldn't keep up I couldn't keep like I'm out of breath I got my daughter a nightstand the exact one I almost bought Okay, exact one I almost bought literally three days ago and it was $4.99. I got, shit, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you. I got all this shit right here. Down there, you can see I got my daughter a picture. It's got like a unicorn on it. It's super, super cute. She has unicorn bedding in her room, so that'll go with it perfectly. I got, like I said, uh, my hut my son does boxing or kickboxing and so I found these so that he could practice at home too He has gloves already, but I'm not sure if you can even hear me because I had to have my AC going a million miles a minute Got him these and they were like, I don't know ten dollars Then one of the biggest stars of the show my son is potty training and these are like twelve dollars a pack Found these brand new never opened in the package Nighttime training pants for $3.99. $3.99. And I got like 10 packs. All brand new, never used, not expired, nothing. Love that for me. Then I got a Hearth and Hand, which if you don't know what that brand is, it's through Target. It's uh, like the Magnolia Chip and Joanna Gaines brand. I've been wanting one of the like, it looks like a pitcher, but they use it most of the time as a vase. I've been wanting that because I get fresh flowers like every two weeks. And I wanted that for like my island and my kitchen. And I found one, brand new, still has a sticker on the bottom of it. And it was like $4.99. Normally like $30 at Target. So this is why I thrift. This is why I thrift. Oh, I'm hot. I gotta get this AC on and we gotta head over to where the Barnes and Noble is. And I think, and I gotta get some lunch sometime today. I gotta get some lunch sometime today, but it's been a good day so far. much fun I went to one of my favorite places to eat which is called sweet Paris and I had one of their Nutella and strawberry crepes as you saw it was absolutely delicious so 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 good then that I did that after I stopped into Barnes and Nobles and I picked up some goodies I'm gonna show you what I got I even got this like cute little tote bag to carry my books out because they ran out of bags so I grabbed that on my way leaving the crepes place I stopped by Aerie and I got some underwear because they were having a 10 for 38 sale and it's you know always a good time to stock up and buy more underwear. And so that is it for what I just did. Now I'm gonna head over to Ulta and then I think I'll be done for the day. I can't believe I have accomplished so many things today and it's not even that late in the afternoon. I might stop at a coffee shop somewhere and get a coffee, maybe, I'm not sure yet, but it's been it's been a great day. We've been doing a lot of stuff. I've had a great, great day. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna turn this AC on and uh, go to Ulta. Y'all, it 
has been a day and I realized that I did not give you the books that I purchased at Barnes and Nobles when I went in there and so I just want to give you a quick wrap up. I am finishing up my day and I'm about to put some hair oils in my hair and take a long hot shower, get into some pajamas and get comfy but I didn't want to leave you hanging so let me go ahead and pull all the books. Currently reading Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. I just started this book today. Let me know down below if you've read it. I would love to know. I heard it is spicy spicy. And then I ended up purchasing three additional books at Barnes and Noble. So I normally am somebody who loves like rom-com type of books or like fantasy romance and stuff like that. So I'm a really big Akatar reader. I also love um, really cute like romance fantasy smut type books. And so I wanted to stay in that. But I did get one book that doesn't necessarily say that it has any romance in it. Don't even think it has anything to do with rom-com. It's completely out of left field for me so but I am going to try it because when I read the first page it already hooked me in so that book is called in five years by Rebecca Sorrell Sorelli let me know down below if you have read this book before I'm really interested in reading this book and seeing if I like it it seems like it'll be a one and done type of book because it's a pretty small one the next one is I picked up Honeymooners by Christina Lauren love this cover I loved her book love in other words it was so 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 good like not that much spice like really at all like probably a one out of five spice but five out of five for plot and just love story rom-com romance second chance lovers type of book and so I did love that so I wanted to try this one out and the last one is Tessa Bailey too hot to handle I read her it happens one summer and her oh hook line and sinker and I read both of those back to back in like three days they were really really good the first one it happened one summer I had to get past I had to get to page 75 before it got really good but the second one was like right from the bat really good but you need to read the first one before you read the second one because they're connected that is it that's it for my day thank you so much for following me along if you are new to my channel make sure to hit the subscribe button down below don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified every time i upload a new video hit the thumbs up button if you like my day in the life videos like this especially on my little perfect days that i like to do for myself and let me know down below what the best part of this video was for you thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you next time bye friends